Jack and Tina are eagerly waiting for their father. He's coming back from a trip to Mumbai and he has promised to bring gifts for both Jack and Tina. Here comes their father and he has brought them chocolates and cars. Their parents ask them to share the chocolates and cars equally. Jack and Tina sit on a table and start dividing the chocolates. Jack takes one. Tina takes one. Jack takes one more. Tina too takes one more. Now Jack takes a third one and Tina takes the last one on the table. How many chocolates did Jack and Tina get? Jack got three chocolates and Tina also got three chocolates. How many chocolates are left? There are no chocolates left. Now Jack opens the box with the cars and puts them on the table. Jack takes the blue car and Tina takes the red car. Jack now takes the yellow car and Tina takes the green car. There is one more car on the table. Jack and Tina both want the car. Tina tells her father that it is not fair or even that Jack gets an extra car. Look at the distribution of chocolates and cars between Jack and Tina. What was the difference in both these scenarios? In the cases of chocolates, there were six chocolates. When Jack and Tina divided it in pairs or groups of two each, there was nothing left over. But in the case of cars, there were five of them in the box. So. When the children divided it into pairs or group of two each, one car was left over. The set of numbers which can be divided into pairs without any number left over are called even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are even numbers. What about the number 0? That's interesting. Imagine if Jack's and Tina's father did not bring chocolates. Then there would be zero chocolates, which means both Jack and Tina do not get any chocolates and obviously there is no leftover. So, zero is also an even number. The other set of numbers which when divided into pairs give a leftover or remainder are called odd numbers. One, three, 5, 7 and 9 are odd numbers. Now Jack's cousins visit them and they give them a pack of 50 chocolates. Jack and Tina are wondering if they can divide it equally. Do you think they can divide 50 chocolates equally among themselves without any leftover? One way to do so is by dividing the chocolates one by one. That will take a long time. Let's look for an easier way. Take the number 50 and look at the number in the ones place. Is the number in the ones place even? Yes, the number in the ones place is 0 which is even. So, 50 is also even. Now take the number 26. Again, look at the number in the ones place. It is 6. Since 6 is an even number, so 26 is also an even number. Let us verify by dividing these 26 chocolates between Jack and Tina. Wonderful! We could divide the chocolates into pairs and there are no leftovers. So, we verified that 26 is an even number. Now take the number 73. Is this number even or odd? The number here in the ones place is 3. 3 is an odd number. So, 73 is also an odd number. What about the number 17? The number in the ones place is 7, which is an odd number. So, 17 is an odd number. Let us verify again by dividing these 17 chocolates between John and Tina. 
After dividing, we find that one chocolate is left over. So, we are right. 17 is an odd number.